Welcome to Rod's Tree Tours of the University of Nevada, Reno Arboretum. My name is Rod Hollandbeek, aka the Tree Hunter. I am your host for this tour. This is the Jimmy's Garden Tree Tour. It starts at the steps on the south door of Manzanita Hall, that is the door nearest the small parking lot, and goes counterclockwise between the building and the large sidewalk between it and Manzanita Lake. The alcove area between the sidewalk and the building is one of the Arboretum Board's areas of interest, called Jimmy's Garden. It was started by his parents in his memory in 1976. There is a pause of two to three seconds after each tree to let you get to the next tree. But if you haven't yet reached the tree, or if you need a little extra time to locate or contemplate it, Please press pause until you are ready, then press play. Okay, let's get started. From the door, walk toward North Virginia Street to the conifer at the corner of the building at number one on the map. This is contorted eastern white pine, scientific name Pinus strobus contorta, a cultivar of the main conifer species native to the northeastern U.S. This cultivar varies anywhere from slightly twisted needles, as in this case, to a wildly twisted tree form. Eastern white pine has five needles in a bundle, making it a member of the white pine group. The flat top tree between it and the steps at number two on the map is the first of four weepers, weeping mulberry. Scientific name Morris Alba Chaparral, planted 1989. A cultivar of the white mulberry tree cultivated for millennia. The cultivar is grafted onto a white mulberry trunk, and the branches grow only slightly taller than the graft. Because of the thick foliage all around the tree, branches inside the outer layer don't receive enough light to support leaves, and they have to be pruned out to keep the tree presentable. At the other side of the steps, at number three, is Bleriana plum, scientific name Prunus ex Bleriana, planted 1989. This tree is a cross between Japanese apricot and purple leaf plum, which is a few trees later in this tour. This tree is obviously struggling and may not look like much most of the year, but in April it has fragrant double pink blossoms. Continue toward the corner of the building. The conifer at number four is Eastern Herbivitae, scientific name Thuja occidentalis. It is native to Eastern North America and is an evergreen tree with small, inconspicuous cones and a columnar shape. These trees are often planted between buildings and sidewalks, and landscape architects use them to visually soften building corners, as in this case. Continue on the sidewalk around the corner of the building to where it splits and, at number five, look at the tree next to the wooden garden structure. This is Saucer Magnolia, scientific name Magnolia ex Solangiana alexandrina, planted 1979. Saucer Magnolia is a hybrid of two other magnolias and was first grown in France in the 1820s. Since that time, it has become a favorite landscape plant, with flowers shaped like those of tulips, and with many cultivars of various bloom colors. Saucer magnolia could be considered either a tree or a shrub. The tree next to it, at number six on the map, has opposite branches. That is, buds are arranged opposite each other on the stem. This is Cornelian cherry, scientific name Cornus moss native to Central and Southern Europe and Western Asia. It is actually a dogwood, but its red berries in fall inspired the common name. It is one of the first trees to bloom in spring, with small, irregularly shaped yellow flowers. Compare the branch structure with that of the magnolia. That tree has branches alternating, like many of the trees on campus. Go past another saucer magnolia to number seven, a tree with spoon-shaped leaves. This is Capital Pear, 
scientific name Iris caleriana capital. It is a cultivar of the China and Taiwan native calorie or flowering pear. It has fall colors which can range from yellow to orange to red to purple, depending on the tree and the weather. Two features distinguish it from other cultivars. It has a narrow shape with leaves arranged almost cylindrically around the limbs, and its flower clusters are rounded. Continue in the same direction to the large tree surrounded by concrete sidewalks at number 8. This tree has pinnately compound leaves. Note how the central stem of the leaf has 20 to 30 leaflets coming out from it, while the aristocrat pear has only one. This is a Japanese pagoda tree, scientific name Sephora japonica, a native of China and Korea. It blooms later than almost any other tree here, around the 1st of August. The large clusters of yellow or white flowers are followed in fall by seed pods which look like strings of beads and which stay on the tree all winter. Go to the alcove of the building, walking on the paver path to number nine. The two purple leaf trees right next to the building are purple leaf plum, scientific name Prunus sericifera crowder vesuvius. The species, cherry plum, is native to Western Asia, but has been planted in landscapes for at least 400 years. This cultivar was named for a nurseryman who introduced it in 1947, and it has become very popular because of its purple leaf color and contrasting flowers in early spring. Next to these trees at number 10 is a thin yet tall tree. This is American hornbeam, scientific name Carpinus caroliniana, native to Midwestern U.S. and Canada. In young trees, the trunk has a wavy cross section, which is one way to identify it. This tree has one inch by three inch toothed leaves and colors yellow in fall. It also has light brown fruits reminiscent of hop fruits. This is the Nevada State up and coming tree. The tall tree at number 11 across the small path is Cobus magnolia, scientific name Magnolia Cobus. It has a more upright form than saucer magnolia and is taller than star magnolia. But, like other magnolias, it has large fuzzy buds in late winter. This tree has spectacular white flowers about four inches across with six to nine petals. This tree is also a Nevada State up and coming tree. The short, flat topped tree at number 12 under the Cobus magnolia is the second weeper, Weeping European Beech, scientific name Fagus sylvatica pendula. This is a cultivar of the European native European Beech, grafted at around three feet above the ground. In this case, the tree gets only slightly higher than the graft, and the branches cascade to the ground. The tree will get no taller than this. The largest tree in the Alku, at number 13, is Japanese maple, scientific name Acer palmatum suminagashi. Native to Japan, Korea, and China, Japanese maple hybridizes readily, and this is one of hundreds of cultivars available. Japanese maple is sought after because it stays small, grows slowly, and has a controlled form. It is a major element of Japanese gardens. It is best planted to the north or east of the house in Reno to protect it from the prevailing winds. The third weeping tree at the end of the alcove at number 14 is a conifer, weeping nutka or Alaska cedar, scientific name Camicypress nutkaensis pendula. The species is native to mountainous areas along the U.S. and Canada west coasts. The sweeping, drooping branch structure is different on every tree, and this is an eye-catching evergreen tree. The small conifer across the path closest to Manzanita Hall, at number 15, is the fourth weeper, Weeping Norway Spruce, scientific name Picea abes pendula. 
plant sellers have an astonishing variety of dwarf and weeping Norway spruces for sale. The weepers don't get very large in height or area, so they can be planted in areas with limited space. Each plant has a distinctive shape. Where the two concrete paths converge at number 16, candied apple crab apple, scientific name Melus weepkanzan. This cultivar, with its rosy pink flowers fading to pink, was plant patented in 1977. A North American native, crab apple has been cultivated here for hundreds of years because it stays small, it has gorgeous flowers in spring, and its fruits, if present, are small and not messy in a lawn setting. Please press pause and walk along the sidewalk toward the end of the building. When you get to the tree with two inch, five lobed leaves at number 17, press play. This is Paul Scarlet Hawthorne, scientific name Crataegus levigata Paul Scarlet. This cultivar of the European and North African native English Hawthorne has clusters of small double red and white flowers. The overall effect in bloom looks like a reddish purple. The rest of the year it looks like other English hawthorns. The tree to the left of the sidewalk at number 18 is another saucer magnolia, scientific name Magnolia solangiana lenny. Most of the year this tree looks like number 5, but its flowers are more purple colored. Magnolias are among the first trees and shrubs to flower in the spring. There are three trees at number 19, which look like the tree at number 17. These are Crimson Cloud Hawthorn, scientific name Crataegus levigata Crimson Cloud, a cultivar of English Hawthorn. The flowers have a white star-shaped center surrounded by dark pink outside and are fragrant. This concludes the Jimmy's Garden Tree Tour. Thank you for joining me on this tour. If you would like to support the Arboretum, please see the options on the donate link of the UNR Arboretum website.